Hey guys, so this is my fifth week post-op VSG. Today is the 12th of April, 2019. So last week on my fourth week of post-op, I weighed 262.1. Today on my fifth week of post-op, I weigh 256.1. So I've lost six pounds since last week. So I'm really, really happy and excited about that number. For uh, a total weight loss since my highest weight of 54.9 pounds and a total weight loss since surgery which was 3819 at 285 pounds my weight loss since surgery is 28.9 pounds and my total weight loss is 54.9 pounds so I'm, I'm really like I'm super excited and happy about all those numbers I would be happy about a one point loss but six pounds in one week that means that i've been working hard and busting my ass i'm really really happy and excited about those numbers i know that stalls happen and i've seen a lot of people in the in the groups that i i i'm a part of i i've seen a lot of groups and a lot of people who they've been having stalls even before the six week mark however for you know I haven't had a stall yet um, I'm happy about it I'm not complaining about it but I know it's something that could happen um, and has happened to people it just hasn't happened to me yet and I, I'm really happy about that um, I'm, I'm really happy like I know that I'm not surprised because I've been really really dedicated and working hard like I, I don't eat any fast food never I do not go and get any healthy options from a fast food place. Fast food is processed. No matter what you do, the chicken, it's processed. Everything is processed. Um, there's high sodium in everything that you get. I'm saying you can go to an artisan place that'll make it fresh, like farm to table type stuff. But I choose to save money and I choose to make my food 100% natural. And mind you, I'm not knocking people who go and get fast food stuff sometimes that's all you can do at the moment and sometimes it's what convenience is i'm only talking on my preference and my choice and my opinion which i have every right to do so i have not eaten you know out of any fast food places i don't do takeout um and some people may say well damn you know that sucks i'm not getting vsg but you know one thing we have to remember for me, clearing my mind and getting right mentally and, and, and physically and emotionally, we have to break the chains of those relationships that we have with certain foods. And I really feel that my relationship with food has progressed in a way that I never knew possible. Um, you know, I'm purchasing different vegetables, different fruits, different types of fish, different meats. I'm really trying to come out of my shell and try and experience new things with my new taste buds. And it shows in my numbers. Like, I'm, I really, really am so grateful that the sleeve is working for me. Not to say if people are stalling, it's not working for them. Everybody's body is different. And I want everybody to understand that. Everybody's body is different. Everybody's body heals different and everybody everybody's body reacts different. I've had struggles just like everybody else, you know, trying to find the foods that work best for me. Home cooked or not, I've had bad, you know, reactions to certain foods. Um, however, I've also learned that the portion and caloric, I'm sorry, the ounce intake matters for certain foods some foods i can have four ounces of some foods i can only have one ounce of so just because your body can have three to four ounces of one specific thing doesn't mean that that is the capacity for your sleeve it just means that certain foods have different capacities or certain foods i'm sorry has different ounce intake possibility than other foods so i've really been able to learn that through logging all my food on my templates i've been able to have food diaries and just remember like if i see that one week i lost two pounds or one week i lost one pound or one week i lost a few ounces but then this week 
I lost six pounds, I'm gonna go back to my log and see what the hell I did to be able to lose that much weight. Um, a couple updates. So my all my all my clothes are fitting very loosely on me. I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm able to eat the what I do personally is. I make sure that I eat, even if I could eat three or four ounces, I don't do that. I eat between one and two ounces every two to three hours. The reason for this is because you're ensured that you are having intake controlled. You're not gonna overeat, you're satisfied, and you're getting your nutrients in on a regular consistent basis and it's also training your stomach to be able to digest at a certain time so I'm trying to train my 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 sleeve and I'm trying to train myself to eat so if I have my lunch I'm gonna start my lunch maybe at 11 30 12 o'clock I might not finish my entire lunch even if it's only four ounces and if even though I can get a whole four ounces in I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna have one to two ounces every two hours. So my lunch will maybe take a four hour process. I'm not telling people to do this and I'm not telling people it's the best for them because everybody has different things that are better for them. I'm just telling you what's working for me. Um, I've been, I've, I've, I've really feel good. Like I don't feel tired. I don't get the dizzy spells the way I used to. I might get one or two here and there if I get up fast again, if I forget to get up slowly, but I feel great. Like I don't have any problems right now. I don't feel like I've had any side effects and I feel good overall. My clothes are fitting super loose on me. I know that I'm getting smaller. There's some chairs at work that I couldn't fit in before and now I do. You know, going to the movie theater, I'm a little more comfortable. Like, there's just a lot of things. I'm, I'm less out of breath. I've been swimming, something new I've been doing. Um, I haven't been working out because I'm not ready for it. I'm not having enough caloric intake. Caloric intake is the most important thing when going to the gym. I see sometimes people, and I'm not saying it's bad, sometimes people start going to the gym super, super uh, early on in their... Um, in their diet, uh, you know, in their sleeve journey. And I don't knock nobody for working out. However, you have to make, as long as you are meeting, meeting your caloric intake goals, that is the most important. If you do not consume enough calories to sustain your weight loss and to sustain a workout that's going to burn X amount of calories, you are gonna go into starvation mode and you are not going to have an efficient workout. Now, working out is important. So walking and being active is important, but working out and being active are two different things. And y'all could Google all this stuff if you don't believe me. But, you know, maybe parking your car a little farther from work and walking a little more. Those things are really good to do. Um, taking a little walk over every day, that's a good thing to do. But you can't overdo it on something that you're drenching in sweat if you can't intake over a thousand calories a day. That's just not efficient you're going to go into starvation mode. Your body is not going to lose the weight. You're gonna be losing more muscle mass and we're already losing muscle mass and that's not a good thing. So what I did was I wanted to start doing low impact, low intensity and I started swimming. So now I swim every couple days. Like I went on Sunday, I went on, did I go on Monday? I might've gone on Monday and I went the day, I went the, the day before yesterday. So two or three times so far, I'm gonna try for three to four times a week, but probably like three to give myself time. Um, I'm still working on my caloric intake. I'm maybe at a thousand, a thousand and fifty around there. But caloric intake is important if you're gonna work out. If not, you're you're gonna go into a stall. You're gonna go into a stall, you might gain weight. No, don't do it until you know you're ready. I'm feeling great. You know, 28.9 pounds since surgery, it's been five weeks I feel great um that's really all I could say I'm gonna come back with another update um in about another week I might talk I'm gonna do a live on my Pompeii um Facebook group 
but I hope everybody's doing great. Like, I, I wish everyone the best. You know, actually, one thing I want to get off my chest is this. I can't stand, and I, I don't want to be negative, but shit, if I say that I feel a certain way towards eating out, or I feel a certain way towards, like, let's say, a prime example. If I'm posting on any of my social media, I am not going to eat at fast food places or I miss eating at a fast food place because it's a, it's a struggle of mine, but I'm not going to do it because it's not what I signed up for for VSG. I'm not talking about anybody else. I'm talking about my damn self. You know, anytime I make a post or anytime I say something, it's about how I feel, how my struggles are, what things I'm going through. That's what I'm sharing is my story. And I can't stand when people come into my DM talking about, oh, was that about me? I don't have time to think about anybody. I got time to think about my damn self. And so whenever I make any type of post, I hope nobody takes this shit wrong. Because it's about me, not about you. And this is what I'm talking about. Not to say that the world revolves around me. But when I speak about stuff, I'm speaking about my personal experience. And I'm sharing it with the world. And that's what I'm doing. So with that being said, I'm having a wonderful experience on my VSG surgery. It doesn't mean I don't have struggles and it doesn't mean that it's been easy. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life and I would do it 10 times fold. Because I know what I keep in my brain is you're, you're adding years to your life. You are going to be healthy. You're going to be happy. You're going to live a longer life and you're going to be better for your children and your family. And that's what I keep telling myself. And that's what I believe. And I believe in myself because I don't play games. I don't cheat. I don't sneak shit in. I don't do none of that shit. I'm not perfect. But, you know, I'll sniff something like, damn, this smell good, you know. But I would never, never break my the oath I made to myself the day I got on that airplane to go to, to, to Tijuana, Mexico. And I made sure I took two years of preparation for this. I say this in every video. I did two years of research. I prepped myself. I saw a shrink. I made sure that my, my head was right, my heart was right, my brain was right, everything was right before I made that choice. And sometimes people don't do that. And I, I see some people fail because they don't prepare themselves. You know how hard it is to deal with this? When you look at your body and it's getting smaller and smaller, you don't necessarily always see that yourself until people see that or you see it photo by photo. So come on, please, please mentally prepare yourself. See somebody, talk to somebody like a shrink. Um, just get all your shit together before you go in for surgery because there's a lot of things you got to prepare yourself for. And that's something that is the only real, real advice I can give. So um, thank you guys all for joining me and I will see you next week on my six week post up. Have a great one. Bye.